Uh, can we help you? Is there something we can do for you? All I have to say is I am so glad that we have this backyard because I would be in grave danger right now <laughs> if I was to walk out there. Cornholio, what's your problem? You had to come all the way over here just to mess with me. Thing bird. Because it's after Thanksgiving, he's brave again. Okay, really, why are you over here? Why'd you come over? Do you need something? I'll get you some food. I really will. Ow! Cornholio! Corn, corn, Cornholio! Stop it, dude! Stop it, you dang bird! Stop it! I'll get you! I'll get you a snack! 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 I'll, I'll get you something! Ow! Cornholio, you're a jerk! You're a jerk! Quit laughing at me! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh gosh! Cornholio! What's your problem? Okay, yeah, real funny. Cause I'm in the chicken coop. And all y'all are out there. Are you kidding me? Is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's clapping for, corn for Cornholio over there. Good job, Cornholio, that's hilarious. Dude, leave me alone. There's a net here. You can't get me. It's impossible. Please stop. Why are you like even... You're breathing hard. You're all worked up. I'm stuck in the dang chicken coop. Leave me alone. Okay, look. Look, Cornholio. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get you over here. And then I'm going to sneak around out of here. I'm just trying to get back to the pasture. I have stuff to do. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, okay, yes, you're outsmarted, Cornholio, and now guys, we just, it's a breeze, it's just a breeze from here, should be pretty easy, oh shoot, okay, we're gonna go, we're about to go, on the count of three, we're just gonna start going, one, two, three, okay, we're gonna make it. Yeah, take that, Cornholio. <laughs> Why are you doing that karate stance? Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Cornholio, ow, Cornholio. Be nice. Be nice. Dang bird. <laughs> Cornholio, dude, you're fast, too. I'm gonna juke you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Cornholio, I'm too fast for you, partner. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, where am I going, Cornholio? Huh? Sha, sha, sha. Sha, sha, sha. Please stop. Go away. Alto. Stop. Uh, go away. Rah. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay. Are you mad because I was talking about how handsome the peacock is? So you had to come in here and start your shenanigans? Chia! Chia, please come help. Thank you. I'm getting out of here, y'all. Back to the great indoors. Whatever I was about to do in the pasture can wait. Chia, run. He's not happy. Hey everybody, Shirtless Jake here, and today, guys, I am not going to apologize for the wind because something has happened at the airport, and uh, they have shifted the flight plan for approach right over our head, and I love it because I've been out here all afternoon just seeing plane after plane after plane. I even saw this bad boy. Anyway, the point of all this was just to say that I don't feel like Billy gets enough attention. Like, I, eh, never, I mean, whatever about Granny, but you know, Billy is like a staple of this entire hill, and I just don't think that Billy gets all the attention that he deserves. So today I filled up a bucket full of feed, and uh, I'm gonna try to get most of it over to Billy. He's big. Hey, is Billy frozen or something, or what? What's going on with Billy? Huh? What's going on with Billy? Billy, come on, Billy. Come on, I got a snack for you.
All right, come on. Come on, we got more. We got plenty more for y'all. There you go, where's baby? Come here, baby. Come here, baby, look. No, baby, where the heck are you going? I'll try to get her over here to this pile of feed. Billy, I know you're a good boy and you'll share, but hey, why'd you just whack me? Look, baby, there's a pile. Look right there to your left. No, your other left. Your other left. Just turn a little, look. Look on the ground. Look on the ground. There you go, look right there, okay. Now I'll back up and now, hopefully she'll go to the feed, who knows. All right, come here, Billy. Come here, Billy. Like I said, I don't think you get all the attention that you deserve, but sheesh, Billy, your neck is thick. How'd you get such a thick neck? You been doing shoulder shrugs all day or what? Huh? Well, that's kind of what I do around here. I just shrug my shoulders. Not much bothers me. I'm just old and wise. And I know what to do. I know when to use my energy. I know when to lie down. I know when to eat. And I know when to sleep. You're right, Billy. You are the most wise bull on this entire hill. You kind of sounded like Moo in the beginning, but then you kind of transitioned into an old wise guy. Seriously, a wise guy. That's pretty cool, Billy. Well, Jake, when you've been around as long as me, you tend to start to talk slower and you think more and you talk less. And if you young whippersnappers will just learn that, this world would be a better place. Thank you for the advice, Billy. You're kind of, you're kind of bringing my mood down, okay? I, I think I'm going to go. Bye, Billy. Bye, Granny. Y'all, uh, y'all have a great day, and, and thanks for the advice, I think. Hey, everybody. Shirtless Jake here. Guys, today we are in a major hurry, because if you look, there are a whole lot of dark clouds rolling in. That means the rain is going to start falling at any moment. Honey is out here with me today, guys. We're going to be measuring every distance between all these boards and we brought our notebook with us right here we're going to be writing down all of our measurements so uh i'm going to take the boards back up to the porch where i have the plug-in saw so even if it does start raining i can get all the boards cut and when ben gets here we'll just start screwing these things up there real quick and we'll get all the form done today and, it, and if it still hasn't rained by that point we'll start on the roof guys we don't have time let's get to cutting change of plans the rain's gonna hold off for a little bit today so uh we got our chart here we got all of our measurements and ben has arrived you ready yep all right so ben and i got all of the boards cut that are going to go in the roof now these are going to be your rafters and then on top of that you're going to have your lads running across but what we've done to make our lives easier is we have put a red mark here and on the same spot on that side red mark in the middle red mark on that side and a red mark on this end and a red mark on that side so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start our screws through the side we'll know that our board will be running perfectly perpendicular to to these boards on the shelter and everything should line up perfectly it should pretty much be a breeze so get this right in the middle of that red mark and tell me when you're good 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 yes yeah, perfect where it is right now okay always on don't, my side don't let it move right there it's flush on the top like it's perfectly level yes perfect so perfect Ben okay you ready go Beautiful, Ben. All right, we got all the boards put up for the roof. Now we just got to cut a couple more and start wrapping the sides. All right, we got all of our boards for the bottom wrap cut. We got the two by sixes for the bottom, and then the two by fours are going to go in the middle. So we just got to get these put up here, get them put up there level, one on the bottom, one in the middle. 
screw them in, and then uh, this bad boy will be ready for tinning pickets. Okay, put the level on. Pick it up. Up, 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 up. Up a tiny bit. Up a tiny bit. Okay, don't move. Lined up good to the front? Yes. Sure? Yes. Now I feel how sturdy and stable this bad boy has been. There's monkey bars in here. Alright, it is time for my favorite part of any shelter building, and that is the laths and the tin roof. And even though this thing's only like six foot tall, I still don't like being up here. Not one bit. Okay, so I had to use Bree's mule as my ladder here, but I was able to get up here and screw down all the lads in the middle too. So uh, it's time for 10. That's why my mule's breaking down right there. That's why it's so wobbly and lumpy. Whatever, and Bree. It's carrying all the extra weight. I, I don't even weigh back. that much. Never wanted to be a step stool. <laughs> Yep, through right there and then into the wood. Stop! Okay, look, you can barely, barely smush that thing, like barely. Oh. All right. Do I need to loose? Do I nope. need to undo it? Sorry? Nope. Perfect. <laughs> Bree and Ben getting another sheet. You know, the first sheet is up here perfectly square. We're rocking and rolling. Yeah, right there on that ridge. Ben, walk around. Swing around. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Go forward, Ben. Slowly. Slowly. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't move. Nobody touch it. Okay. Now go forward slowly. Hold on. Nobody touch it. Go forward. Okay. Stop. Beautiful. All right, the roof is all done. Uh, never never mind the amount of overhang over here compared to the amount of overhang over here. Yeah, it's not no big deal, no big deal. We just won't record this side. That's what we'll do. But no, next step is pickets, and Ben and I will be out here first thing in the morning to do that. That's all for this one. Bye, guys. Have a great day.